All right, tech fans, check this out. Traditionally, AMD was always a company that everybody flocked to because they had better prices. Their performance in some cases was actually better than the competition, but most of the time they were the underdog and people went to them because of their low prices. But recently, we've seen a definite serious change with AMD especially in the CPU department. We all know now that AMD is making CPUs that are competitive, if not totally beating Intel CPUs. Honestly, Intel motherboard sales and CPU sales are down big time. AMD stock is up. So in that department, AMD is doing really well. But what you're seeing though, at the same time though, is you're seeing that AMD's prices are actually starting to get a lot more expensive. So honestly, I mean, if you wanted to get a 3950 CPU, you were dishing out close to $900. I saw them up to even higher price than that in many places online. So that's making them even more expensive than an Intel CPU, which is kind of weird. So in some ways, have they just like swapped roles? So now all of a sudden they're the most expensive thing? I mean, I don't know, it's kind of, the market's changed. Now, on the GPU side of things, Obviously, AMD hasn't been spending as much development time in that department, especially like in like the Radeon series. And you can see it because all the promises of all these faster cards and all the stuff that's going to do this, that, and the other, AMD has yet to actually come up with a card that is faster than the NVIDIA cards. And with these new technologies and stuff that have come out that are like pretty much making, you know, everything different with ray tracing. And this is the way the future is, regardless if anybody likes it or not, games will, be, will start incorporating ray tracing because when developers can just do this out of their toolbox and it's really easy to do, why aren't they gonna wanna put the most eye candy in? And currently, AMD isn't supporting that whatsoever. I don't really think anybody is except for NVIDIA through their RTX series of cards. And right now, the 5700 XT is about $459. I've seen them even as high as over $500 for some of the power color versions. So the cards for them even are pretty high priced because we see right over on the NVIDIA side of things that they have cards that are just a little bit more expensive, maybe really only sometimes $10 that are actually faster than the 5700 XT and they support other features. And now the, really the point of this video, which I'll get to, is that AMD is now releasing a 5500 card, and I know they're gonna release a 57, I mean, excuse me. Let me re, re, re back up a second there. AMD is going to be releasing a 5600 XT, as well as this 5500 XT. And my really my big question about this, and this video is why? Why is AMD releasing these cards? I mean, honestly, I mean, when you're gonna be able to compete at the lower end market where it's already really saturated with a bunch of cards, and I think that a lot of gamers, especially the gamers who are like into their gaming, they feel like you know these entry level cards are kind of just like, eh, you know, why are you buying them? Now, I know for some people, if they only play like World of Warcraft, or they're like, they're just looking at those dungeon games, looking over Diablo type, you know, those type of games, they are not really that graphic intensive. And yet I hear people all the time, I'm like, well, what kind of computer are you looking for? And they're like, well, you know, I need to have the fastest video card that I can get. And I'm like, well, what do you play? And they're like, oh, World of Warcraft. And I'm thinking to myself, uh, okay, you could get away with almost just using the uh, onboard graphics on an AMD you know, chip that has integrated graphics, if that's all you're doing. I mean, I mean, I mean, the greatest experience in the world, but I mean, you can still do it. And yet they want these cards that they don't really need. And so since, it seems to be a confusion just at that point with all these cards like why are we introducing more lower end cards into the market i mean i can understand if amd said hey we're going to be coming out with a 5800 xt and it was going to be faster and start competing with some of the other cards better i'd be like all right yeah and don't get me wrong i like the 5700 xt in fact i have a build coming with a liquid cooled card coming very soon i do like that card but the fact is, is that the prices at this point for AMD products are getting more expensive than their competitors. And that's just kind of weird. So now we've got more cards coming out that aren't faster at all. 
you know, we're going slower. If we're talking 5,500, that's going to be slower than the 5,700. 5,600 still going to be slower. You know, so what are they going to be? Is it going to be dropping off like maybe $100, $100? So we're going to go from, you know, what is it, 459 to 359 to 259? I mean, stuff like that. I mean, I don't really know what's going on here. I just know that I'm only looking right now for faster cards from AMD. I feel that the lower end market, that there's no reason at all. And here, let me get to the final point of my video is I know lots of companies out there. And if you're watching this video and you're one of them, you know what I'm talking about. They've got a shit ton of stock. I mean, a shit ton of stock of these RX 580 cards and 590 cards. Okay. And you guys already know these cards are really competitively priced. So what in the is AMD thinking? Are they just basically now competing with themselves? And if they release these cards and they're supposed to be faster than the 580 and the 590, what's going to happen with all that stock of all those cards? What, they're just going to ditch them and throw them in a warehouse somewhere and let them collect dust? Because let's just face it, if they saturate this lower end market already, which they're doing pretty good in. I know a lot of people, hey, man, my, my son just got a, a, a 580 card. So, I mean, I know people who love these cards. You know what I mean? They're really well priced. They still play games at 1080p. If you're a 1080p gamer and you're looking for a really good card, honestly, and you don't care anything about any of the new technology, I would seriously recommend getting a 580. And honestly, <laughs> I'm gonna pull the plug on the boat, a 480. There's really not that much difference between an RX 480 and a 580. We might talk maybe one or two frames per second. I'm gonna be honest with you. I have seen an RX 480 on eBay for a hundred bucks. No shit, a hundred bucks. So why in the Sam hell is AMD releasing a 5500 and 5600 i mean what are they thinking i mean i don't really understand this what i mean wh whose dick are they competing with at this point because really they're only going to be competing with themselves because nvidia already has a bunch of cards already in that low price market as well that don't support ray tracing they're just their lower end cards the gtx series which now has become like you know the budget arena so what is amd thinking i see this Prices going up, performance in the CPU arena, they're doing really good. I've even got my 3950, so I admit it, you know, I like their CPUs, no doubt about it. I'm buying them myself. I am ain't buying no Intel CPUs right now. Sorry, Intel does not buy your CPUs. That's just the way it is. Now, video card wise, for high-end stuff, I still like high-end NVIDIA. But for budget stuff, AMD has a solid hold on the market. So why, and I'm gonna say this again, why, 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 why are they releasing a 5500 and a 5600? Excuse me, I'm gonna say, yeah, that's right. Sometimes I get, sometimes I don't, I don't have a script, by the way. I think my videos out and then I just bring them to you naturally with me just thinking with my thoughts in my head. That's how I do every video. We haven't had a scripted video ever. So if you think in the already are scripted and I'm really like reading and screaming, I'm like, no. It's me just trying to memorize everything in my brain and then bring it to you. So. Let me know your guys' opinions. I mean, hey, I think we all agree. AMD CPUs, good. Intel CPUs right now, good. By the way, if you know where I'm getting this gesture and this stuff from, let me know in the comments down below and I'll give you a free game. You just tell me where I got this. AMD CPUs, good. Intel CPUs, bad. Now, video cards, honestly, I prefer for high-end stuff and video cards. That's just it. For me, I'm a tech junkie, so I don't care if RTX takes frame rates away, excuse me, not an RTX, excuse me, I don't want to say that wrong. It's such, no such thing as RTX, RTX is a brand name. I always get that confusing in my head, but ray tracing. Ray tracing to me is cool. It's the future, and even though I know that some games, it may like take away some frame rates and you know make it not as playable, I still want to see it though. You know what I mean? It's eye candy. It's pushing the future and pushing technology. And me as a tech junkie, I like things that push technology and I really wish AMD would do something about their video card department and give us some real damn competition against Nvidia that's my comments I'm Eric thanks for watching the video peace out I'd love to hear what you guys have to say but honestly I don't understand what AMD is thinking with these new video cards they just don't make sense